Um, I've got a little Technics KN1500 piano, which I've also got a laptop, and I decided that I wanted to play the two together somehow. So I've worked out how to do it, and you might find this useful. So if you already know how to use MIDI with various software, then I suggest you don't listen to this video. What I first needed was I needed a cable, a MIDI out cable that goes into a USB into my laptop. And I connected the MIDI in cable to the MIDI out socket on the back of my piano. And I connected the MIDI out cable to the MIDI in socket on the back of my piano. And the USB, I basically just plugged that into the laptop. Now, it needs some software to actually use this. So I've looked for this MuLab free, just to try it. And basically you can download for Mac, Windows, um, or possibly Linux, is it Mac? Um, oh yeah, yeah, Windows 32, Windows 64 bit. When you download it, it creates a zip, a zip file. And basically all you do is you unzip that to a new folder, go into that folder, and run the application. So I'm just going to go into MuLab, and I'm going to create, you can actually go into Demo, I'll just do this for a second, so that, that basically gives you a demo of, of the thing that it will do, but what I want to do is I want to go into a new version, Now, when I go into the new version, I've basically got a blank template. So I can go into my MIDI setup, and I believe probably in the demo version, we've only got one port. So my input is my MIDI, and my output is my MIDI out. So I've just set that up. And you can set up the audio if you want. All I've done there is there is an ASIO but I, I don't seem to be able to get that work at the moment so I've just called it M Audio and I've just got it as a Microsoft sound mapper now with the new template if I right click on here so I've got basic synth in my rack which is what this is and if I ch uh, choose the target module down here you'll see I have a, a MIDI out. So I'm just going to select that instead of the basic synth. Now if I double click on here, I then get a sequence file. I also have a pencil which allows me to drag that if I want to make it a bit longer. If I double click again, I go into my piano roll editor. So if I double click anywhere in here, And if I've got a pencil, I can drag it along. So if I play that, what you're hearing is you're hearing sounds from my piano keyboard. So just to let you hear the difference, I'm going to change the sounds on my piano keyboard just so you can see what's going on. So I'll just, I'll just come out of there for a minute. I'll loop that. I'll just drag that loop to the end. I'll play that and then I'll change the piano keyboard as, as it's playing just so you know what's going on. So basically what's happening is these notes in here are actually being played through my MIDI piano and depending on what sounds I select on my MIDI piano 
that's what's coming out. So now what I want to do is I want to add an instrument track and you can either use the factory tools that are in there which are the select settings or you can use a VST you can browse for a VST plugin so basically you'll browse the folder where you keep your VSTs and the one I like to use is Zebralet and I shall go for that Finlandia again I'll double click on here click select sequence and you see it set this up here double click again and now this time Now that seashore sound you can hear is because this is a demo mode and occasionally it's going to do that. Now the other thing I've got is in my headphone jack that's coming out, um, which you won't hear at the moment, uh, I would normally plug that into a set of speakers and if I play, so that's going to come out my piano and this is going to come out the speakers which are plugged into the laptop but because I've got my headphones on you're probably not going to hear it very well but we'll see what happens no you won't hear that, let me just let me just let me just plug in I'm just going to, if you bear with me, I'm just going to plug in my speakers and you might get a better tone isn't it? So apologies for that. Um, let's just add something else. We'll add an instrument track. We'll go to Mood Tools. We've got the factory instruments. Let's take um, let's take some pads. I'll we'll double click on here again. Now again, I'm just going to swap my sound over so that you can hear through the main speakers what's going on. Let's just add some, so we can find some drums. I'm just going to swap this over again and let's see what it sounds like. I'm back again. So hopefully that should get you up and running on how to use a keyboard with a PC, MIDI keyboard, 
and some free software MuLab. MuLab's great. I've just started playing with it yesterday, and what I'm finding is really interesting and it's fun. So I'm hoping that gets you up and running, um, and hopefully you found that helpful. Thank you for watching.